On Wednesday, the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries increased Nigeria's September quota by 100,000 barrels per day, bringing it to 1.83 million barrels per day. Chamunda Beng, in this report, asked the question, can Nigeria meet up? In times, Africa's largest oil producer has not done so well in meeting up with its numbers. So how will the nation meet up with this increase? Energy crude oil expert Yabagi Sani gives his insights. The increase by OPEC is supposed to be a cheering news, you know, for a country that is managing its resources well, but that cannot be said about Nigeria. The official information from government is that we are losing about five point something billion dollars every year. That is the official figure for Naiti, about four point something Naiti says. Every year we are reporting this. And very recently, uh, information I think from uh, official quotas also says that we lost 80% of our revenue to oil theft, to, to, to crude oil theft. The country has been patiently waiting for the completion of the Dangote refinery, which is said to possess the capacity to process about 650,000 barrels of crude oil per day. But there are fears that the new refinery will fall prey to oil theft, vandalism, insecurity and policies that have hindered existing refineries from reaching their full potentials. If you remove those clauses, those constitutional provisions that are fueling corruption, you know, then it will work. Because if you deregulate the sector, where then Mr. Dung, Mr. Dungotina will come and then, of course, buy his crude oil, market price, sell his petroleum products, you know, market price, you know, and your, name, your money will not be taken to pay Mr. Dungote. Care is not taken, they will even do more damage to you. They will steal more, you know. Because these are Nigerians like yourselves, and they, they will feel comfortable talking to each other. You don't know what they are doing. Because they, they, the company is there for profit making, isn't it? Unfortunately, this is a company that is also a Nigerian company, and we know what happens in Nigeria. They can tell you they are operating international practice, best practice, yes. Mm -hmm. you know, but, I mean, uh, it's okay, it's a good move. More people will be employed. That's for, that's for sure, because it's institutionalizing your constitution. Chamun Dabeng, Trust TV News, Abuja.